we're going to fold an angle bisector on this bit and then fold it inside, right? So that's the angle bisector and then you fold it inside. Like so. And you do that on the other side. We're going to open this model up a bit. This is the mountain fold, these are the valley folds, these are the mountain folds, and between that we're going to fold down. And you collapse that again. Okay? So now you're going to do those inside reverse folds. Do the first inside reverse fold, it looks like this. Then you're going to do another inside reverse fold. Looks like that. And on the third one, looks like that. Right, after you've done that, you've got your first point, the second point, the third point, and the fourth point. And um, there's one in the middle, a small one. And you're going to outside reverse fold, uh, well, inside reverse fold actually, to kind of get uh, spiky things. So when you've done all four, you've got four spiky bits standing up. And the last one in the middle just stays like that. Right, so that's the tail. The tail is done. Um, what we're now going to do is, if you fold these flaps down again, you can see you've got your spiky points here, and um, you've got them on, on both sides. And what we're now going to do is basically fold this in an angle, Right, so you've got this, if you just fold this like that, so they're kind of nice and in between, yeah, you fold that, and on this side, when you want to fold this, you've kind of got to do something on the sides, so um, on one side is the tail bit, you kind of have to do a fold here, so you get another spike here, actually. Spiky bits, I don't know what to call them, actually. And on the other side, when you want to fold that, so this is like that, kind of want to fold it straight, you get another spiky bit here. Okay? So that kind of looks good already. So, if you, um, Right here, like this is an angle, and this is not an angle, right? So if you fold this just up, that's okay. That's like a straight line. If you fold it up on this side, it wouldn't be a straight line, right? You can see there's an angle. It's not, it's not straight. So what we're going to do instead is, if you do this um, mountain fold, and then we're going to fold the valley fold in an angle. So it aligns with the other part you folded, right here. So then you're okay again. So when you've got this, we're going to next work on the hind legs. You've got a crease here, which is like an angle bisector. I'm going to fold that as a valley fold and then you want to bring this down so this is a right angle right so you've got this reinforce that fold and then you just fold this down and you've got to kind of get that and the same on the other side fold like that and you fold it down like so Right. Okay. Next, for the uh, front legs, um, you've also got this mountain fold here, which you reinforce. And if you fold that down, like so. And on the other side, you've got the mountain fold, and you just fold it down. Again, just so you have just about um, a right angle over there. Okay? So, once you've got that, 
um, we're going to start working down here. We've done like some pre-creases here. So there's a mountain fold there and a valley fold. Alright, so the bottom was of a valley fold and the top one is a mountain fold. So let's collapse those like so. And we want to fold them in the back. Let's open this up a bit. And to fold this, and for that we kind of have to fold the legs a bit in. Like so. Like uh, you're doing... Well, I don't know exactly, maybe something similar to a petal fold. Do it on one side, and on the other. It's in the back, so it doesn't matter that much whether it looks tidy. But it's always nice to have like a nice and tidy fold, even the bits you can't see. And you do that on the other side too. And then you've got this. Okay, so next what we do is um, these legs, they're basically too big. So we're going to make them smaller, and we're just going to fold a bit inside, right? So we're basically going to make a mountain fold here, which is just about an angle bisector, like so. And in the, in the front here, the rest of the paper, you just hide inside. Show that to you again. Just do a mountain fold which is an angle bisector and the rest you just hide inside too and on the back um, you want to do the same just fold maybe a third because back legs are a bit bigger than front legs, right? always a bit stronger And that's what you get. And now, um, what we're also going to do with the head is we're going to make it a bit smaller. So basically, you do just a mountain fold here to to um, hide some paper. Like so. And on the other side. And next we want to um, see this bit, it's hanging out there, don't like it that much, so I'm going to fold that back, like so. Maybe it just jumped out, I'm not sure. Okay, um, now we're just going to uh, give the legs a nicer shape. So you um, do a mountain fold. Like that, and a valley fold, which makes it look like that, and another mountain and valley fold, and you do the same on the um, on the back. And finally, for the feet, you open up the leg a bit, and then you push, so you get feet like that, like that. And um, what I now also do is, we we'll do a bit of folding here, so something like this instead of something like that. Let's see what else can we do. I've got this pointy bit here, I don't like it. Let's make an inside reverse fold here. And there we are. You've got your Stegosaurus.